It wasn't long ago when I remember walking into a fast food restaurant and ordering items off the dollar menu. I was able to leave full and eat on the budget. I put together some really impressive deals, but this thing you've pulled off, it's amazing. A big and tasty for just a dollar? I like that. Got a buck? You're in luck. Tweet going viral, calling the cost of a meal out of control, along with this receipt, apparently showing a $22 price tag for a bacon cheeseburger, regular soda, and little fry. People grilling the popular burger chain on social media. This is a fast food restaurant. Why is a burger $12.50? I'm honestly pissed. <laughs> These used to be a dollar, you feel me? $16. $16 for a burger, a large fry, and a drink. It's, it's just crazy. Recently, there has been a backlash covered by media sources on the rising cost of meals at McDonald's where the average American consumer can no longer afford to eat there. It wasn't that long ago that fast food used to be an affordable option for a lot of families. Now, not so much. The days of dollar menus and buy one, get one free offers, they're gone. And while higher regulations mean higher costs, the burritos and Big Macs are going to cost more in California because minimum wage in the state just jumped $20 an hour. If you are a fan of fast food, then you know it's costing you more for that burger and fries. The big question tonight, why are fast food prices in the past year seeing the highest increase in decades? 7%. Most fast food combo meals cost more than your average hourly wage in America. For instance, this Big Mac combo meal was $17.59 on the menu of a McDonald's in Connecticut. And look at the prices of the quarter pound of combos. What did you pay for a Big Mac? Uh, one man on Twitter posted signage from a Connecticut McDonald's where he paid $18 what? for a Big Mac combo meal. Three hash browns and an egg McMuffin for $24. Went to a different McDonald's for lunch in Pacific Beach and I got a filet fish sandwich, a 10-piece chicken McNugget, and one small fry for $14.84. Inflation, rising costs of foods, an increased minimum wage or just some of the few reasons for this dramatic rise in prices. Hey, Lyndon Johnson said once he lost Cronkite, then he lost Middle America. Fast forward to 2022, President Biden's going to say, once I've lost McDonald's, I've lost the economy. Like if you're going to be losing fast food right now, then that just shows how disheveled the uh, the economy is right now. Companies are seeing a window to turn a profit. Take, for example, a Big Mac in 1978 was 90 cents. With inflation, it should be 409 today. It's now $6.59. In this video, we're going to cover the top six reasons why fast food is getting so expensive. You should stick around because you really want to see what makes the last one on this list. Number one, inflation. This is something I'm sure everybody watching this video can relate to. In the past few years, inflation has gone up exponentially up to as high as 9.1% back in June of 2022. Inflation is serious because it's taking the prices of value meals at fast food restaurants up, including McDonald's, Chipotle, Taco Bell, all facing higher costs for food, labor, and rent. So customers are starting to see higher prices. It's increased its prices four times since the summer of 2020. McDonald's announcing a roughly 8% hike in the first quarter of this year, noting inflation is affecting all sectors and no one is immune. Whether you're grabbing a bite to eat, or supermarket shopping. Everybody's shelling out more cash these days. And just as we're seeing value meals return to some fast food menus, rising food and labor costs are leading many chains to also hike prices. Everything has risen in costs, which in turn, fast food franchises shift the cost back to the consumers by raising the prices of the menu item. Number two, increased minimum wage. Pay increase for minimum wage fast food workers rose to $15 in some states, including New York and California, a few years ago. Fast food franchise owners then pass this cost onto the consumer by once again raising the price of the food. What would cost you $11 at McDonald's will soon cost $13. Businesses say that's because minimum wage has gone up and they're going to have to pay their workers more. Operators are blaming minimum wage. But that's not all. Have you noticed the increase in self-serving kiosks and where you can no longer order food from a cashier but forced to order from a machine? This is also the fast food's owner's response to increased wages by eliminating jobs. I warned you guys I had some bad news. Well, sales are down, so we gotta make some cutbacks. I'm gonna have to let some people go. Oh! I'm firing Carl! Whoa. Tammy, I am terminating your employment at Topper Jacks. So please exit the Topper Jacks. 
Fine. Now, a new law in California that's set to take effect on April 1st, 2024, and this is not an April Fool's joke, and where the fast food workers will see the minimum wage pay increase to $20 an hour. So the question of the day is, who will really be paying for this increased labor cost? And that will be you, the consumers. Number three, rise in food cost. All one needs to do is take a trip to the local supermarket to see how insane grocery prices have increased over the past year or two. This also applies to fast food restaurants as the cost of food rises, so will their operating expense. In order for them to turn a profit on the business, they need to raise the prices. Food prices are rising at the fastest rate in more than 40 years. That according to Labor Department data, those high prices have restaurants feeling the pinch and leaving some with no choice but to pass that cost on to the customer. So how's it working out? At Ben's Chili Bowl, a pillar of the community. But now owner Virginia Ali and her son Nizam say times are tough. We can't make it if we don't make a little bit of money on it. The chili cheese fries went up 80 cents. That's because the price of a 30 pound case of potato fries doubled since the pandemic. And cream, milk, cookies raised the price of the banana pudding. Number four, supply chain disruptions. This is one of the cause of many restaurants at fast food industry price hikes during and after the pandemic, as many companies experienced supply chain shortages ranging from a lack of employees and supplies. Supply lines have been interrupted, uh, transport costs are through the roof. Supply issues have also meant products constantly out of stock. Hurting businesses nationwide, and as a result, some restaurants are raising their menu prices. Shared a receipt for a meal that totaled $24 for one person. The internet continued its pile on, articles are being written, I'm sure a congressional hearing is coming next. But is this really that crazy? Food shortages of main ingredients, such as corn and chicken, cause the price to go up due to the higher demand and that what can be supplied. The ongoing supply chain crisis is also impacting menus. Sales continue to soar despite McDonald's describing it as a tightening in the domestic chicken supply. Now that demand is driving up costs for restaurant operators, the cost for small chicken boneless breasts has remained relatively high since January 2021, peaking at about $4.30 during the summer of 2022. Number five, shrinkflation. This can be defined as the size or the portion of food that are shrinking while the prices remain the same, or in some cases, even higher. Have you noticed that some of the combo meals or portions might possibly be smaller? Shrinkflation is in full effect, hiding in plain sight. For example, at some Burger King restaurants, the 10-piece nugget is now a less full 8-piece nugget. So Burger King can keep prices competitive and still make a profit. Domino's Pizza is doing something similar with its $8 carryout wings. They've dropped from 10 to eight as well. This is not only happening in fast food restaurants, but also at regular restaurants as well. The consumer is paying the same price for the smaller amount of food than compared to before. This is definitely a price increase, even if the price itself doesn't actually increase as you're paying for less than what you're supposed to get. Fast food meals, they're shrinking too, and especially when it comes to chicken. Carol's Restaurant Group, which owns 14% of Burger King restaurants across America, announced it was lowering the number of chicken nuggets in an order from 10 to eight. Chick-fil-A is taking a hit too. They've eliminated their larger sizes of milkshakes and their six-piece kids meal nuggets only offer five. This is shrinkflation, where they believe that a customer can comfortably pay a certain amount of something, so they're getting smaller and smaller portions. Number six, we allowed it to happen. And yes, I mean us. The average consumer allowed it to happen. Because fast food franchises realize that the consumer is willing to pay for it. When the fast food minimum wage was increased, the consumer paid for it. When the prices and the menu were raised, the consumer also paid for it. When the supply chains were interrupted due to the pandemic, the consumer also paid for it. Do you see where I'm going with this? With inflation and the cost of food going up, the consumer also pays for it. Rising costs seem to be everywhere these days, but one industry appears to be immune to it. Despite higher prices, fast food restaurants are actually seeing a surge in sales. Despite inflation taking a bite out of most Americans' budgets, fast food sales are surging across the country. Chains like McDonald's are doing better than expected. Customers like Corey and Rigby keep coming back. Food menu prices jumped significantly last year, about 13%. Three to four times a week we have repeat customers. And we have customers that come in daily, every day. 
Um, six sausage burritos. How many? Six. Breakfast in the United States. Let me get the big breakfast with uh, hot cakes. Marvin Enrique's busy lifestyle means starting some days at the drive-thru and eating in her car. I think it's bad news. <laughs> but we do it anyway. <laughs> According to the National Restaurant Association, the average American now gets more than five meals a week at restaurants and their waistlines are expanding along with their tendency to eat out. So when would it stop when there's a major backlash, like recently? According to this article by Yahoo Finance, McDonald's CEO Chris Kosemski, where he acknowledged that the McDonald's fell short on its expected sales was due to affordability. They saw a decrease in customers making $45,000 a year or less in salary eating at their restaurants. Most people in that salary range could not simply afford to eat at McDonald's anymore and eating at home has become more affordable, he says. He also mentioned they will be focusing more on affordability to their customers. When people are simply fed up and stop buying, fast food restaurants will take notice and adjust accordingly in response to decreased sales. Consumers allow these prices to increase when they keep buying. A Big Mac may soon cost a little less. McDonald's CEO is promising more affordability during an earnings call with analysts yesterday. The restaurant giant has faced criticism recently over higher prices at some locations, including an Egg McMuffin costing more than $7, a $16 fish filet, and a Big Mac combo nearly priced at 18 bucks. We hope you found the answers you were looking for on why fast food prices have been getting so expensive recently. Let us know in the comments if there are any other reasons we didn't cover and make sure to share this video with others to support us and like and subscribe. Until then, stay informed and Genius Tomato out.